Hi everybody, this is Kevin, and welcome back to another anime review. And today I'd like to share my thoughts on episode 9 of Digimon Ghost Scheme, which I felt was another solid episode, moving in the right direction, and overall, I definitely recommend the series to people, especially if you're a Digimon fan. But let's get right to the review. So, it broke the trend that all the other episodes had leading up to it, in that the opening scene would follow an NPC-type character being attacked by the villainous Digimon, when this episode actually opened up with Hiro experiencing sort of like a sleep paralysis attack, and he is having a difficult time sleeping over the past couple of days because his, his clocks on all his different devices keep changing sporadically throughout the day. Like, it'll just jump two hours randomly as, as the day goes on, and... and like with all his devices, because it shows, you know, he has the regular clock on the wall, he's got his alarm clock, the clock on his phone, the clock on his computer, etc., etc. And as this is going on, you can see Clockmon's eyeballs within the clocks. And if you remember, Clockmon was actually the first villainous Digimon from the very first episode, who wasn't the misguided villainous Digimon that we've seen in other episodes, and was actually a, a ruthless threat intent on you know, sucking the life from everybody, and you saw in the very first episode where he, he would attack you with his Chrono Breaker attack, and it would essentially age the characters into, you know, old people, right? Like, age them to their 80s or 90s or whatever, till there's no time left. And, you know, he, he was attacked by Battle Gamamon at the end of the first episode, and then vanished, and was like, oh, I'll be back for you, ha <laughs> ha. So... Hero continues to be late for everything. He's late to school. He's meeting his one friend to go shopping, and he's late. And he's, like, very tired because of this. So he decides to meet with the group, of course, with Roli and, and Kiyoshiro. And they all decide, oh, let's, let's you know, just go to the library and, and have some fun. So they decide to go to this library. And <laughs> there's a cute scene where, where they're riding in the train before they go to the library. Gamamon's, like, he, he mentions that he wants to ride the train to go to the library. And, you know, he makes his cute Gamamon sounds in the train, and, you know, it's all, it's all good. But, of course, once they make their way to the library, Jellymon starts scaring Kiyoshiro again. And she's like, oh, Kiyoshiro, the, the library's haunted. You know, they've heard foot, footsteps behind people, and the pages in the books turn, and there's no wind or anything. The pages just turn, and, and all while <laughs> Jellymon's telling this, Kiyoshiro is, like, shaking, and he's like, oh! He keeps getting all terrified. It's hilarious. So they make their way to the library, and all of a sudden, Hero gets like this ringing sensation in his ears. And as this is all going on, you continue to see Clockmon throughout the episode keeps appearing in the various clocks throughout, you know, wherever they are. You know, the clocks on the walls, the clocks on their phones, etc., etc. And I noticed something too on, on one of the phones. It says seven G up at the top, <laughs> at the top corner, like where the battery is. And I know most people's phones are either four G, LTE, or five G. But in the Digimon Ghost Game world, there's seven G now. So for any of the conspiracy theorists who are like against five G, just wait till we have seven G. I mean, it's definitely coming. But um, what happens is they see like a a a, a floating stack of books make their way towards them. And it bumps into them, and then it, it cuts to like the halfway point in the episode. And then we meet two new Digimon, friendly Digimon, called Bokumon and Bakumon, which uh, I have all my millions of tabs open, so I'll show you guys what I got to share with you. But um, they're friendly Digimon, and we have Bokumon, and, and they're both um, the child, so that's rookie level. They're both friendly Digimon. So here's uh, Bokumon. And Bakuman, and they've appeared in the other series throughout. And Bakuman, right? So here they here they both are. And <laughs> Bokuman here, you see, he has like a lab coat on. He, he keeps insisting he's Professor Bokuman, and he starts to give the characters like a bit of a lore dump as to what's going on. And essentially, he reveals that he he just came into the real world, the human world here, a few days ago when he entered a portal. And the group remembers from the last episode when they saw Black Tailmon Uver open the portal, transporting all the Digimon that were running in the race with Sistermon CL and, and Metal Phantomon. And what happened was they made their way back to the digital world 
but Bokumon and Bakumon made their way here into the human world, and now, of course, Bokumon is, is reading all the various texts, learning more, and they, they, they ask, you know, Bokumon, hopefully I'm getting these pronunciations right, they ask him, like, can humans go to the digital world? And he says, no, they can't, because they'll just burn up if they go into the digital world. To which Hero's like, well, I saw my father in the digital world. How's that possible? And he's like, oh, a very peculiar question indeed. So, uh, interesting that we have that. Here, I'll show you my other uh, pictures I have since I have all these millions of tabs. But this is the beginning uh, where both Hero and Gaumon are all screwed up because of the time. And you see he had the you know, the time on his phone, there's his alarm clock over there, there was the time on the computer, and then there's a clock on the wall as well that you can't see in this frame. Uh, that's when they ran into the two of them, <laughs> the, the books fell on them, and, and the, the tall tale that Jellybon was telling Kirishiro was, was kind of true because, well, the page of the books were moving because the hologram ghosts appear invisible to normal humans, but not to, you know, people who have Digimon and have, like, the, the, the Digivice, right, who can, who can see them. And then there they are in their hologram ghost form. And Bokumon also reveals there's different stages to a hologram ghost. You can be completely invisible. You can be sort of translucent like that. And then you can materialize similar to the, how the three tamers have their Digimon. And there he is being the professor of all his books teaching Hero. And <laughs> this was hilarious. So while Bokumon was, was like given the whole lore dump, Gaumon just sports out, Rolly, I'm hungry! So Rolly and, and Goromon, along with Kiyoshiro and Jellymon, take Gaumon to go get something to eat and just leave Hiro there talking with Bokumon and, and Bakumon. And this bastard, he just starts eating this. Look at all this, this chocolate. Like, how many scoops of ice cream is that, dude? He just <laughs> keeps eating all this ice cream. So, God bless him. So, as all this is happening... We get the return of Clockmon, and Clockmon appears. You see, he's pretty scary looking, dude. But he, he comes back, and he's like, Ah, I got you all alone, Hero, so now I'm going to claim you for mine. And he starts attacking Hero. And, but what Hero does is, because Clockmon is like the hologram ghost form, he activates his Digivice, and it turns like the room around him into a quasi-digital world, so it doesn't harm like the, um, the library or the innocent bystanders there. And as this happens, Gaumon sort of feels it and is like, I gotta go protect Hero. So he goes out there to protect Hero and starts battling against Clockmon. And, and here's all these shots of Clockmon just looking terrifying, man. And then, of course, um, you know, Gaumon digivolves back to battle Gaumon. But throughout the fight, what happens is, right as Gaumon gets there, he lets out like this negative energy, I and mean, like there's this black aura around him that uh, that attacks Clockmon, and it reverses. He's using the Chrono Breaker attack on on Hero, but Gaumon's able to reverse it back to Clockmon, and Clockmon his, his clock starts going in reverse, uh, sucking all the time, or rather going forward, sucking all the time away from him, and he's about to die. And 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 you hear him, he's like, "Help me, help me," and Hero decides, you know, let's help him. Maybe if we help him, he'll change his ways. And then Gaumon digivolves to battle Gaumon, and they reverse the time back on him. And then Clockmon agrees to change his ways. And, you know, it, it was pretty epic music. They had, like, the Digivolution music. And then battle Gaumon was doing all his attacks to reverse the clock to stop him from uh, all his time disappearing. Because you saw as, as the clock's spinning rapidly... Like, he, he starts losing his arm, and, and more stuff starts disappearing. And after that, because, the, you know, they saved Clockmon's life, he's like, oh, thank you guys, you know? Like, all right, I'm, I'm going now. <laughs> and then uh, Bokumon is like, no, you can't go like that. You still look too scary. We're going to teach you how to, how to use your hologram ghost ability so that he can go invisible and not, not harm anybody anymore. So, you know, I know my friend Justin has criticized that, and I've criticized that as well, where, where they fought, like, the ultimate level misguided Digimon. Although, Clockmon is a champion level, so Battle Gaumon could probably beat him in a one-on-one -on -one fight. And, you know, he, he was beating him, but Clockmon was going to die. And, you know, the, the heroes always see good in a villain's heart, and they're like, oh, they can change their ways. So they decide to reverse time and, and you know, set him on the right path. So I, 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 I did like that. Uh, but I do agree, with, well, facing the ultimate level Digimon is so damn annoying, because it's like, okay, the champions can't beat the ultimates, we all know that. And still, the other partner Digimon haven't Digivolved, and then, again, uh, 
Professor Bokumon there is is all like, oh, very interesting how you, how you had that cool evolution, Gamon. You know, you're a you're an interesting little sort. So. When will the other Digimon Digivolve? Because we've seen in the opening, they show the Digivolutions in the opening. So, like, why? Because you see Angoramon and Jellymon Digivolve in the opening. So when the hell is that going to happen? So, anyway, I did enjoy this episode quite a bit. I, I liked seeing uh, more friendly Digimon enter the fray. Because really, so far with the friendly Digimon, it's just been the main group. And then, you know, the, the villainous, misguided Digimon Monster of the Week. It was cool to see Clockmon return from the very first episode. And I did like his uh, his face turn. How you know he obviously he's a bad guy, but he he was he recognized the fact that they saved him from dying. So I did like that. And I'm curious to see what's going to happen next. And they they also mentioned at the end, right as the episode ended, like what was that black aura that came out of Gamon when he re reversed Clockmon's attack? What does that mean? So we'll find all that out later. Uh, definitely enjoy this series. I, I recommend it to all the Digimon fans out there. And also to the Digimon fans, hopefully you guys heard the news that Digimon Survive got rated T for Teen last week. So that means it is true. They, they did say that the game is coming out in 2022. So I wonder when. I would guess maybe spring or summer. Um, but I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a tactical RPG for, for all the Digimon fans. And goddamn, that game was supposed to come out back in like 2019, so it's been delayed so much, but it's so cool to got, that we got that. And also, Digimon's been trending quite a bit on Twitter because it was actually Joshua Seth's birthday the other day, so people were wishing him well. And if you don't know who that is, that's the English voice actor from for Ty from uh, the original series, and then uh, obviously he was in Adventure 2, Adventure Try, a few of the movies, so it was cool to wish him a happy birthday, and I... I gotta look to see what other anime voice roles he's done because, uh, you know, obviously he did Digimon, but I'm sure he's, he's done other voice work. But wow, this might be my longest review for this series so far. God damn. But I did really enjoy it. Definitely recommend it. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Be sure if you haven't already, check out the video I uploaded on Monday to vote for my next Let's Play series because uh, once everyone's voted and, and everything's tallied up, whatever has the most votes by Saturday, that'll be the game that I start for my next weekly live stream series. So be sure to vote in that if you're interested and you like watching the live streams. And uh, that's going to do it for this video. So thanks, everybody. Have a great day. And we'll see you next time.